Okay, here's the next take on this uh, city flood tsunami scene that I'm working on. And I still don't have everything built, of course. I, mean, I have barely put any detail into any of the buildings, so it's got a long way to go. But I have the general layout of, I know what I want to do with the scene now. And this is rendered resolution of 225 on the water this time, and the cycle's resolution was 45. The entire simulation and rendering took about uh, almost two hours for 150 frames. All right, let's see what it looks like. I'll just let it run a few times. So now that I have the basic scene laid out and I have the colors the way I want, I'm balancing, of course, the blue with a lot of these reds in the city. And that helps bring the scene to life. But it's really be the details that I'll start putting in the city at this point, which will really give it some real life to it and maybe add some wind to the trees and some other effects. The one thing you can't do with this level of simulation, you can't let the you can't make the water interact with other objects it can go around objects but it's not going to move other objects and so i can't you know make obstacles flow within the thing i can fake it of course quite well but it's not quite the same thing but there are other ways to actually do that and i'll do that on with some other examples in the future without this particular form of fluid simulation but this form gives you pretty nice movement All right, that's it for now, and I'll still be working on this through the end of the year, so there'll be updates every couple of days on this. All right, I'll see you then.